the North Carolina General Assembly set aside $5 million um, in last year's budget for an initiative that we're leading right here in our community in Winston-Salem and Forsyth County. And that is to build an air traffic control system for drones. This is an air traffic control system of the future. And this will help support some of the existing operations we have already, which are really leading in the nation. So UPS Flight Forward is flying right now at Atrium Wake Forest Baptist Hospital. In fact, last year they had the only COVID vaccine flight in the nation. It was the first and only um, COVID vaccine operation happened right here in Winston-Salem. So we're continuing to build on our leadership in this new space of advanced air mobility. And so with that $5 million investment and the infrastructure that we will create, we will attract new companies that will wanna come and operate their drones here for things like package delivery, public safety and infrastructure inspection. And with them, uh, they're gonna bring jobs. And what we want to do, and because of this partnership, we're positioning ourselves to ensure that our community is in the position to have access to those jobs. And so we have this great asset, the airport and this aviation community. And so this partnership with ECSU and Piedmont Flight Training is helping allow those surrounding communities around that airport to now have access to that success by providing them a low cost tuition so that they can have the skills and degrees they need to access that. And not only are they gonna now have access to the jobs now, but we're positioning them with this $5 million grant to have access to the jobs of the future, which will be much more technology focused. And so really this, this partnership between Elizabeth City State University and Piedmont Flight Training couldn't have came at a better time. I think realistically, um, as we think about, you know, getting this communicated and we're running camps both at Elizabeth City and at uh, Smith Reynolds as we speak, trying to make more and more high school and middle school students aware of what these opportunities are. And those are literally underway. And we've got some footage of those that we'll, we'll share with you. Um, I, I could see in the future at a, at a ramp up phase that we could be uh, putting as many as a hundred students a year through these programs, but it'll take us a little while to build up to that, right? I think we'll have to build up a little bit more, um, but it won't take a long time. I would say within three to four semesters, we could be at that number. If we can create the engagement and the excitement and to get students uh, to realize what tremendous opportunities exist in the aviation industry have our traditional air, um, our traditional aviation jobs, um, which as you know, we currently have a, a pilot shortage. Um, you can read in the news, as you know, you know, um, flights are getting canceled as we become more comfortable with, with traveling. And so uh, even before COVID-19, we had a, a pilot shortage and it was only exacerbated by um, the airline industry, you know, uh, taking measures to um, you know, mitigate how many employees they had on their staff and how many pilots they had on their staff. And so helping feed the pipeline, the, the pilot, traditional pilot airline pipeline is going to be important. Um, but we've often found that uh, those that are working in the, the drone space or the UAS space often come from a pilot background. And so as we think about uh, UPS, uh, companies like Zipline, um, and others that are flying drones already uh, for package delivery in our state, they will need uh, folks to fill those positions as well. And then we're seeing companies that are building drones and wanting to test drones. And so that is uh, not only pilots, but also engineers that are gonna be looking uh, you know, at those positions as well. So I think there's, there's a lot of different opportunities, both on the traditional side and then on this new emerging, um, emerging market and just kind of quick stats there's going to be 170,000 uh, U.S. jobs uh, nationwide created in the next um, three years and so again that's data driven at a national level and we know uh, a good portion of those will be here in North Carolina as well.